Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna take you along for a ride today. We gotta go to one of our backup data centers where I work. Uh, we had a power failure last night. Uh, I gotta take care of a couple things and then uh, I gotta do some maintenance work there. So I'm gonna take you along. So stick around. <laughs> So good morning, welcome to our backup data center facility. So we had a power outage yesterday and um, our backup uh, system did not hold some of our equipment. Um, so we're taking care of that, we're getting that replaced. As you can see, we have three racks here. Um, over here, that's the, uh, the bad, bad UPS right there. Um, here we're uh, converting uh, some fiber coming out from the field and back over to copper. Uh, again, we're retiring some older systems that we don't need over there. Phone system, we got an HP switch over here that's going to be getting consolidated with um, our new core over here. Uh, we have some smaller Mac minis that we uh, do some um, uh, custom applications and such. Over in this rack, this is where our main core is. Um, we got an HP Aruba newer unit here. All of our 10 gig units come in here. Uh, so we have 10 gig again coming from all locations. Uh, and then redundant down here. Again, then just all our regular copper. So the, the plan is, is to take um, all that copper up there, move it down here onto the um, newer uh, core switch. So over in this rack, we have uh, two old um, VMware hosts. Again, uh, those are getting retired, pulled out. These are the two new ones. So these are replication uh, hosts that replicate back uh, to our main data center. Um, these are actually going to be getting swapped out with what's at the data center now and we're going to be replacing the ones at the data center uh, with newer uh, Foliant servers. Uh, this is just a, another UPS just to hold that stuff in case the main one fails. Got a KVM, uh, got a domain controller and then down here um, we have a uh, Dell EMC Unity storage unit. Um, again, it's just replicating um, files and such and VMs from our main data center. Um, we like to have total redundancy in our environment. Um, the plan is, is we're going to be upgrading again the one in the main data center bringing that one over here and then we will take this one and move it to a third site uh, so we have uh, a third site online for uh, redundancy and replication uh, as you know this unit is only um, it's only like a year old so it's got all flash drives in it as you can see um, it's totally full so it, it, it's a nice unit uh, we are going to be moving towards uh, pure storage. Um, um, I, I'm a pure storage fan. Since Dell and EMC kind of merged their products and support have kind of gone downhill a little bit in my opinion. So, so if we come around back here, again, uh, back of the racks here, uh, we have some other stuff. Uh, Quite honestly, this this data center needs to be cleaned up, and that's going to be one of my tasks. Um, we've got a Cisco router here. 
for our voice PRI that comes in. Um, it's actually not a PRI anymore. It's uh, uh, it's an actual SIP trunk. Um, I have a Ubiquity Dream Machine up here that goes um, out uh, for public Wi-Fi. Um, and then again, we just have a lot of uh, of the lines coming in uh, really aren't being used anymore old analog lines um, as you can see though they did a really good job when we were designing this but um, as far as the cable management and all the electrical but today um, what needs to be done is the uh, CMOS batteries are getting low on these two hosts so I need to pull each one of these out, uh, shut one down at a time, V-motion, uh, all the VMs from one host to the other over so I can shut down one at a time and replace those batteries. Like usual, they gotta stuff everything, stuff everything in there. I have a hard time getting it back in, but Now this is probably going to take a little bit, I'm um, still probably going to get an error when this boots up because it's going to have to charge. So um, if you're doing something similar, don't get alarmed if you're still getting um, alarms on it because obviously the batteries are going to charge. Also make sure your covers on securely because there are sensors. Uh, I mean, even on boot up it may say that the cover was recently, for security reasons, it was uh, pulled out. So that's just another thing to look for. Um, just make sure everything's on securely. Go around back, make our connections back up. Get our power here. And then all our cables are labeled, so you know where they went. Because I'm um, not sure if uh, some of our viewers may not be familiar with VMware and how you have to have different networks, iSCSI networks and VM networks, things like that. So just something to bear in mind. But you know our audience may have different skill sets so just describing and that's that's the whole point of all these different switches down here so again uh, leave a comment below I can always make a further video um, if you'd like me to go into further detail on uh, how this equipment works so back around front, power it up, and watch the screen here, we're probably going to get an error, or at least we're going to have to acknowledge something has changed. I really do like these HP Reliance, uh, so the Gen 9 DL360. Um, they're, they're workhorses. 
Um, I've always been a fan of HP. You know, um, you know, think things of metal. It's not. I mean, there is plastic, but I mean, the whole case is a metal. Um, nothing against Dell, but just been always an HP fan. VMware is gonna go ahead and load now on it, so I'm gonna um, do the second one after this one boots up, and we should be good to go. Hey guys, so I hope you found this uh, video entertaining or useful. Um, again, this is our backup data center that we have. Um, we're actually uh, building out a third um, uh, data center uh, that will be serve as a backup as well. Um, but again, if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, uh, please let me know down in the comments and be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It goes a long way for me and the channel and I'll see you on the next one.